for me, my own home is my sanctuary. It's the place where I am with my family. It's not gone through a rigorous process. Actually, my home is a series of trial, errors, mistakes, you know, bare light bulbs. Um, people say to me, wow, your house must be incredible. Actually, for me, it's not something I would put up in, on my website as a portfolio project. It's very different because it's personal. It's not my work, it's, it's where I live and it's my own collection of, of objects and the things that I have accumulated. For me, my room was always my sanctuary and um, I remember now I had a table with all the objects that I would collect and just sort of constantly rearrange those objects and later I found out that I could get a job arranging things um, and doing precisely that. But I think everything in the house, you know, it has, it has a story or a meaning to me. And so it's just, you know, a series of objects not purposefully put together, but they work. And I think because it hasn't been designed, it's, it's just evolved. And obviously those are the interiors that I think people respond to the most because they're the most personal. For me, it's a sanctuary, the garden. I, I absolutely love it. My mother is a total green-fingered gardener and I can't say I've inherited her, her skills but with this garden I actually I spend a lot of time in it. You know my mother made everything, it's that generation, she didn't waste anything. So we really, we learnt to, to, to use our hands to make things essentially. The levels in the house um, there are small rooms on top of small rooms. Uh, one level is white and one level is dark, and so they have quite different moods depending on what time of day we're in that space. Upstairs in the main uh, sitting rooms, the colours are very rich and dark. And when the light comes through the windows, I mean, the blue gloss of all the doors reminds me of the Vermeer painting. 